And the first name on the trophy is Shane Van Gisbergen. Hell yeah, buddy. Uh, SVG has said on the radio, and he's talking about it right now as well, he said it does not try. Shane Van Gisbergen was sick. He wasn't even close to the top racers, but he still won big in Mexico. That win was huge, but what happened after was even crazier. He got into the playoffs with just that one win, and that made a lot of people angry. Even Richard Petty, a NASCAR legend, said the system isn't fair. Is something wrong with the rules? It wasn't just a win. It was a statement, a full-scale warning shot to every team fighting tooth and nail all season long. Van Gisbergen didn't limp across the finish line, he obliterated the competition while fighting through an illness that would have sidelined most athletes. That kind of grit, it's the stuff legends are made of. But here's the twist, it wasn't his toughness or talent that made headlines, it was the ripple effect. One race, one win, and the entire playoff landscape was thrown into question. And the first name on the trophy is Shane Van Gisbergen. Hell yeah, buddy. You are such a badass. Shane Van Gisbergen wasn't supposed to win this race. Coming into Mexico, he'd been battling a stomach bug that left him barely functional all weekend. Most drivers would use that as an excuse. SVG used it as motivation. When the green flag dropped at the Viva Mexico 250, he didn't just compete, he dominated. Pulling ahead by over 16 seconds, SVG delivered the largest margin of victory NASCAR has seen in almost 16 years. The kind of performance you expect from a season-long favorite, not a driver buried in 33rd place in the standings. But here's where things get controversial. Thanks to NASCAR's win and you're in rule, SVG's one shining performance immediately earned him a playoff spot. No matter how inconsistent or absent he's been all year, one victory is all it takes. And that rule, designed to reward bold race-winning drives, just sent a part-timer into the championship fight, pushing out full-timers who've been grinding for months. That's when Richard Petty stepped in. The king of NASCAR, the man with 200 career wins and seven championships, didn't hold back. In a blunt interview, Petty said, you got guys that run 15th or 20th every week and they don't get in. But a guy runs one race and wins, and he's in? That's not right. For Petty, the sport has lost something in the pursuit of drama. In his eyes, consistency used to be the mark of a champion. Now, one perfect day can outweigh an entire season of effort. The way they got this thing fixed, if you, you, know, you win and you're in, that can't be right. From the standpoint that you got somebody, like I say, that's 30th in the points that's going to make the playoff. Hey, man, what happened to the guy that's 15th or 16th or 18th? You know, been running good, finished good everywhere. You're making a championship situation by winning a road course, which is not really NASCAR to begin with. So from that standpoint, uh, I, I think they're going to have to jockey around and change some of this kind of stuff. He continued, you're making a championship situation by winning a road course, which is not really NASCAR to begin with. And Petty isn't alone. Within the garage, whispers have turned into full-blown discussions. What's the point of year-long grind if a driver can parachute in, win one event, and knock out those who've battled through 20 grueling races? The anger isn't just emotional, it's strategic. Teams are rethinking how they approach the season. Should they now gamble everything on road courses and one-off ringers? But not everyone agrees. NBC's Lee Diffie fired back, saying the playoff format isn't about being traditional, it's about being exciting. He compared it to the PGA Tour, where players can qualify for majors with just a few top finishes. The idea is to give everyone a shot and keep fans guessing. And let's be real, fans love the unexpected. No one saw SVG dominating that race, let alone punching a playoff ticket. It was chaotic. It was wild. It was everything modern NASCAR is trying to be. Still, there's a deeper layer to this. Petty didn't just question the playoff rules, he also took aim at the type of track SVG won on, a road course. According to Petty, road course racing isn't real NASCAR. It's not what the sport was built on, and it shouldn't carry the same weight as a traditional oval win. It's a bold claim, especially considering how many road races have been added to the calendar in recent years. But Petty's view reflects a larger identity crisis. Is NASCAR evolving? or is it losing its soul? 
For drivers like Christopher Bell, who finished a distant second to SVG in Mexico, the result was undeniable. Bell admitted that SVG had more pace and there was nothing they could do. Daniel Suarez, another road course specialist, praised SVG's precision and control. But even among competitors, there's an undercurrent of unease. How fair is it that a driver can drop in, steal a race, and jump into the playoffs while others fight tooth and nail every single week just to stay above the cut line? It's not just about fairness, it's about strategy. Teams spend millions planning for a full season, analyzing data, conserving resources, and picking their battles. But when one wildcard win can flip the entire playoff picture, those strategies start to crack. Sponsors, team owners, and even the drivers themselves are left wondering if consistency still has any real value, or if NASCAR has become a lottery where timing trumps talent. But here's the twist. This isn't the first time a part-time driver shook up the system. Remember when AJ Allmendinger shocked everyone with a road course win? Or when Ross Chastain pulled off a last lap wall ride to secure a playoff spot? NASCAR thrives on these moments. They're viral. They bring in viewers. They fuel debates on social media. And in today's attention economy, that matters more than ever. On the road, AJ gonna go back to back and win again at Circuit of the Americas. SVG's win is the latest in a series of moments that test the boundaries of tradition. He didn't just win a race, he exposed a flaw in the very foundation of NASCAR's playoff system. And now, the sport is at a crossroads. Should NASCAR tweak the rules to prevent one-off entries from leapfrogging full-season contenders, or should it double down on the chaos and accept that unpredictability is part of the package? Fans are split. Some say the drama is what keeps them watching. That anything can happen energy is what separates NASCAR from other sports. Others feel the system cheapens the championship, turning it into a spectacle instead of a true measure of season-long excellence. As for SVG, he's not apologizing. In post-race interviews, he credited his team, his crew chief, and the simulation work that allowed him to get comfortable on the track. He acknowledged the illness, but didn't let it define him. For him, the race was about execution, and he executed flawlessly. No matter where you stand on the playoff debate, there's no denying the talent it takes to dominate at that level, sick or not. I was just trying to stay in a rhythm and a routine, and Josh and Steven are doing a great job uh, keeping me uh, calm and focused, and man, that's, that was epic. So what's next? NASCAR's leadership will have to decide whether SVG's win is a one-time anomaly or a sign of deeper issues. Rule changes aren't off the table. Adjustments to playoff eligibility, minimum participation thresholds, or road course weightings could all come under review. But any change risks upsetting the delicate balance between entertainment and legitimacy. Until then, SVG is in. The playoff grid is shaken, and NASCAR's biggest stars just got a new wild card to worry about. Because if one win can change everything, what does that say about the rest of the season? Let us know what you think in the comments. Should the rules be changed? Or is this exactly the kind of chaos NASCAR needs? One thing's for sure, Shane Van Gisbergen didn't just win a race, he lit a fire that NASCAR can't ignore. Should NASCAR change the rules or keep things as they are? Let us know in the comments. Like the drama? Hit that like button for more NASCAR moments that shake things up. One thing's for sure, Shane Van Gisbergen didn't just win a race, he lit a fire that NASCAR can't ignore.